I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important concept to find mirror image of a point when reflected on a line. So in this particular video, we will take four different examples. So let me explain what I am going to do here and then I will take these examples one by one. So there are four different situations which I am going to consider. The first one is we have to take mirror image of a point, let's say here is a point and we are going to reflect it on the x-axis. So first we will treat as reflection on x-axis and then we will do reflection on y-axis and then we will take a reflection about origin and then we will consider reflection on a line right so so the scenario is kind of like this in the first case we will consider as if the mirror is placed along the x-axis in the second case when the mirror is placed here then we will consider reflection about a point and then we will take up a line let's say a kind of line like this right so you could have a point somewhere in the coordinate plane. So for example here, the first example here is find the mirror image of a point 4, 5 reflected on the x-axis. So that is your x-axis. This is y-axis. This is the point which is 4, 5. So when you reflect it on the x-axis, it will be as far behind as it is in front, correct? So you get an image here so that these two lengths are equal. As you can see, the x value remains same. So x value remains same. However, the y value becomes negative. Is it okay? So the answer is 4 minus 5. So 4 minus 5 is option D. So in general, if there is a point x, y, then whenever you reflect it, along the x-axis, in that case, you get x minus y. So this is the result which you will get whenever you reflect, whenever the reflection is on x-axis. Is it okay? So that should help you to answer all related questions. Now let's take the second case in which we are talking about reflection on the y-axis. So now we'll reflect on y-axis. So let's see the scenario. So let's make a bigger situation here. That's the coordinate plane. We are talking about a point which is minus 4, 5. So that means somewhere here, minus 4, and then 5 up. Let's say that's the point, correct? So this point is uh, minus 4, 5 for us. We are reflecting it on y-axis. This is x, this is y-axis. So when you do this reflection on y-axis, this point will be reflected somewhere there. Perfect. So that these distances are equal. If these distances are equal, then minus 4 becomes plus 4, right? So the x value becomes 4. However, the height remains same as 5. Correct. Okay, so 4, 5 is your image, which is kind of like this. In general, if you reflect on y-axis, any point which is x, y will be reflected when x coordinate value becomes negative, but y will remain same. Correct. Okay, that's important to understand. Next example here is reflection about origin. So when we say reflect about origin, what do we mean? This is the origin for us, 0, 0. Now, in our example, we have taken a point P, which is minus 4, 5, right? Let's say this is the point P, which is minus 4, 5. Now, when you reflect this point about origin, that means this point goes somewhere there, correct? Same distance away, same distance away. You can clearly see that the x value becomes negative for the previous one, it becomes 4. The y value also becomes negative of the previous one. 
So the answer is 4 minus 5, right? 4 minus 5 is option D for you. And to remember, if you reflect, then x, y coordinates really change to minus x, minus y. Do you see? Whenever you do reflection on or reflection about, origin is that clear now these are simple cases now I'm going to extend this to lines which are parallel to X and Y axis well find mirror image of the point P minus 2 4 reflected on line Y equals to 2 so let us see how it looks like so on a coordinate plane Y equals to 2 will be a horizontal or a vertical line y being constant so y equals to 2 should be a horizontal line correct where at each point the value of y is 2 kind of like this we are given a point p which is minus 2 4 let us say this is minus 2 here and 4 maybe like here right so we have a point p which is minus 2 4 we have to reflect it on this particular line so when you reflect it, it is going to form an image which is same distance away, right? So these distances should be equal. Since we are talking about a horizontal line, the x value you see will not change. However, the y value will change. To find how much will it change by? So from 2, this line is y equals to 2, correct? From 2, you go 2 up. So this distance is 4 minus 2, which is 2, right? So the image will be 2 units below this. So 4 take away 2, take away 2 gives you 0. And therefore, we find that the image will be at minus 2, 0. So that will be P dash. Minus 2, 0. Option A is the correct option. Do you see that? So whenever you are reflecting on a line which is y equals to a constant value, in that case, the answer will be the one where x value remains same, correct? So it could have been out of these two. And to find the y value, what we can do is we can add and divide by two. So if you see four plus zero, divide by 2 should be equal to this value which is 2 right so that is how you can get your answer so i hope that helps correct so let me take another example and i'll use this strategy once again so here we have to find mirror image of a point p which is 1 4 reflected on the line x equals to 3 now what is x equals to 3 x equals to 3 is a vertical line correct so it is a line kind of like this where every point on the line has an x value of 3. Now we'll consider the point 1, 4. So let's say 1, 4 is a point here. right? So this is the y value of 4 and the x value of 1. If I'm reflecting it on this mirror, so I should see my reflection on this side. Correct. So on this side, the y value remains same, which is 4. However, x value, we don't know. So how can you find the x value? Well, the x value should be so that the midpoint x value is 3, right? So here the value is point P is 1, 4. And P dash is some x value and 4. How do you find the x value? Add these two, that is 1 plus x divided by 2 should be equal to x value of 3, correct? So 3 times 2 is 6. We get 1 plus x equals to 6. x equals to 6 minus 1, which is 5. You get the answer. So, so the value is 5, 4. So 5, 4 is option C for us. So you can also find using a bit of algebra as I've shown you here right so that is also there otherwise the previous method was that this point is 1 4 so x 
from 1 to 3 we are going 2 units go 2 more so 3 plus 2 is 5 do you see that 3 plus 2 is 5 you get your answer do you get the idea so like this you could very easily get your answer if you are reflecting about a line which is parallel to one of these axes correct now here we have another question which says find the mirror image of the point p is minus 2 2 reflected on the line y equals to x now this is a very special case y equals to x is a line which goes diagonal right y equals to x is a line which goes diagonally dividing the coordinates into equal parts so this is y equals to x now you're given a point which is minus 2 2 so from here minus 2 and 2 so this is the point we're talking about which is minus 2 2 now this line minus 2 2 and it reflects that means it has to be perpendicular to this now this case is very similar to reflection about origin right so both coordinates are same y equals to x this is y equals to minus x correct so they will form a perpendicular like this and of course the reflection you're expecting here will be both coordinates will flip kind of so we are expecting the image to be x value positive y value negative correct so so that becomes the right answer for the given case however these answers are wrongly typed so the correct answer should be 2 minus 2 right so let me give the right answer as the x value of 2 and y value of minus 2 so those will be the coordinates for the image of this point so this is kind of reflection on the origin 0 0 perfect sorry for typing error okay now the last question here is tricky question we have to find mirror image of the point p which is 4 minus 13 reflected on a line 5x plus y plus 6 equals to 0 choices are given to us now here we are going to estimate the answer right so we are not going to calculate we are going to estimate from given options so these days many times you are given multiple choice questions like the one we have right so we'll just estimate in another set of videos i will actually teach you how to find mirror image of points when they are reflected on different lines lines with different slopes correct but in this particular case i'm just going to uh, show you how to estimate correct so the line given to us is 5x plus y plus 6 equals to 0 that really means it is y equals to minus 5x minus 6 so minus 6 becomes y intercept let's say somewhere here and if i write this as 0 i'm getting uh, okay if I write let me find the x intercept so y intercept let me write x intercept as y equals to 0 if I write then I get x is equals to minus 6 over 5 which is which is a small number somewhere there so I'm expecting a line which is kind of like this correct where this point is minus 6 the point given to me is 4 minus 13 so this point is approximate let me write minus 6 over 5 so 4 13 minus 13 will be a point uh, let us say somewhere there let's take a point 4 13 somewhere there right somewhere there so let's say this is the point 4 minus 13 correct how will be the reflection so if you see the reflection will be kind of like this do you see that so we expect an answer which is slight value of negative x and large negative y perfect so which one fits well well option a is a good option lower negative x and very high y value is it okay so out of these given options that seems to be the best option so we'll take that 
as an estimate correct so this is the last video of the series where we conclude with an estimate so in the next series we will learn how to solve algebraically such questions okay so that is what we are going to learn in the next series but i hope this helps you to get the basics how to find mirror image of a point when they are reflected along lines parallel to x and y axis or along origin feel free to share your comments and views if you like and subscribe that'd be great thank you and all the best